Hello, my friends. It's finally the weekend. This is probably the last vlog I'm going to be doing outside, and welcome to today's vlog. So, as I said, uh, this is probably going to be the last nice, nice day for a little while. It's looking like there's going to be a pretty good train of uh, weather systems coming through with rain and stuff. Um, they put up a special weather statement today saying that, you know, this is probably the, the end of the dryness for this year is today so enjoy it while you can if you want to do something this afternoon um tomorrow by tomorrow morning it'll probably be cloudy and raining so that's a little unfortunate but it's also good at the same time because it means that all the all the fires will get put out over in eastern washington it won't be smoky here all the time anymore which will be nice for my allergies and uh, any of you other people that have allergies you'll know you know what i'm talking about but um yeah just look for rain showers clouds for probably the next week or so maybe a couple of the systems later so i can get a little bit windy but we'll see the this the first one probably won't be too windy it's probably just mostly be a rain event i mean it might get a little breezy tomorrow morning but other than that i don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of uh wind involved with it but that comes a little bit later anyway um i'm just hoping it's not gonna rain tomorrow evening for the football game because marching marching in the rain is really annoying because those uniforms take forever to dry out it sucks but um i yeah, know you guys should all come watch the the game tomorrow because alan arranged we are young and i arranged living on a prayer you should come listen to those because they're gonna be awesome hopefully hopefully um yeah come listen to those and watch the football team we're playing inglemore i think so, we marched at halftime. We marched down before the game, too. You can join that to be at Bothell, like 5.30. And we'll march down between, um, like, at 5.40 or something. I don't know. Anyway, speaking of music, today we were handed uh, this Holst piece that we're going to be playing for our winter concert set, combined with our midwinter set. I don't know. And it's It's hard. I was looking at it, there's a really high note that have the flutter tongue, which is basically, you're supposed to use the front of your throat, or the front of your tongue, but I have to use the back because I can't do anything with the front of my tongue. Um, and you, it's like you're rolling an R basically, except continually while playing a note, and it's like the highest note I can play. So that's kind of difficult, <laughs> but um, hopefully I'll get that worked out. And there's a bunch of really annoying fast runs, fast like, sets of notes that are going to be quite a pain to deal with so i'm going to go practice that at some point i'm also going to go to fred meyer get gloves that i can cut up and make into um clarinet gloves and cut the fingers off and you can still play the clarinet keeps your hands warm credit to riley bayless for the idea you guys should all listen to his cd it's amazing um i think that's it uh if you have a question post a comment if you have a my mind just totally went blank. <laughs> anyway, eyes on the sky. See you later.